While the rest of Europe is fighting each other with roses for a hundred years, Portugal is busy with a crisis of its own. It's a time of plague and famine, and Portugal has a pretty lousy king. He can't do anything right. He fights three wars against Castile and loses. He decides to marry this Eleanor, but the king of Castile is pissed, so he decides to marry this other Eleanor, and then the king of Aragon is pissed, so he decides to marry this other Eleanor, and then everyone's pissed because she's an evil adulterous witch who wants to be queen no matter what. So basically, she's a Portuguese Cersei. There's another thing that the king is pretty bad at. Being alive, because he dies. He's survived by his only daughter. She's ten, and she's married to the Spanish king. Everyone thinks this is a bit creepy, and that the princess will be badly advised. And you can tell because she finds curtains a fashionable hair accessory. Portuguese Cersei says that she'll be ruling while the creepy couple doesn't have a baby boy. And everyone in Portugal is like, wait a minute, if the baby is born in Spain, he'll be Spanish. And if he's Spanish, we'll be part of Spain. And we are not Spain. Everyone wants a different king now, so they turn to this guy, John. He's the son of Peter with Inish. But he's in prison because he killed his wife. His wife was Portuguese Cersei's sister. They plan to murder her together so John can marry his niece, Portuguese Cersei's daughter. But Portuguese Cersei double-crosses him by marrying her daughter with the creepy king. John feels pretty shitty, but he's okay because he can still be king. Or can't he? Big turn of events, Discard tells everyone that John is not a true heir to the throne because Peter and Inish were never really married. Trust me, I'm a lawyer, he said. Everyone's sad. They have no king now. Worry not, said the lawyer. Let's make this other John king. He's Peter's son too. And everyone's happy again. But there's another problem to worry about because surprise, Portuguese Cersei has a new lover. He's very influential and Spanish and he thinks making Portugal part of Spain is a great idea. How original. They want to murder him. They invite him over for dinner and they yell to the people on the streets that the lover is killing the new John. That's not true, says the lover. But the people outside don't give a shit. Kill the lover, they scream. So they kill the lover and everyone's happy. Except Portuguese Cersei. She's all alone now. Portuguese Cersei writes to the Spanish king asking him to invade Portugal. But he's already here. He tells her to shut up and he locks her up. The Spanish king then calls himself the king of Portugal. Uh-uh, says the new John. I'm the king of Portugal. And he appoints this guy as his general. The Spanish king is jealous and wants a general too. So he appoints the general's half-brother as his general. They battle each other many times, but there's one battle that's more important. It happens here. The Spanish want to win the battle, so they call the French for help. And then the English come running straight away to join Portugal, so they have another excuse to beat up the French. It's foot soldiers versus knights in fancy French horses. The French are confident, and they go first. Chill, we got this, said the French. But not really, because they fall on the traps that the Portuguese dug and covered, and they surrender. The Spanish are very confused, but they keep attacking and failing. Then the Portuguese general prays real hard, so hard that he becomes a saint and Portugal wins. The defeated soldiers run away to the nearest village, which turns out to be a bad idea because the villagers are mad and they want The most bloodthirsty of the villagers is the baker woman. Legend has it that she has six fingers in each hand and she's very big and strong. So strong that when men want to sleep with her, she asks them for an arm wrestling match first. She usually breaks their arms. And then they're not so horny anymore. She finds seven Spanish soldiers hidden in her oven. She knocks them out with her oven wheel, cooks them alive and later keeps their bones as souvenirs. Spain loses big time and the Spanish king is embarrassed and leaves. The new John becomes the uncontested king of Portugal and he marries an English woman, initiating a powerful dynasty that lasts almost 200 years. Till this guy shows up and makes Portugal part of Spain. The end.